What up players, it's Warboss Tape back up in this mug. Welcome to another video on the starting sprue, the prologue sprue for my Kingdom Death Commission. Here is the first monster your survivors will be facing. Well, one of the two first monsters in the prologue of the game. It's the White Lion. And uh, the fiction of the White Lion is so fun. It's this creature that prowls the uh, plane of faces looking for prey and... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I included a link to the wiki. If you look on the, the Kingdom Death wiki, his story is that he, he loves feeling things. He wants to feel himself, but he can't because he got lion paws. And then one day he kills a human, fully flesh and blood human, and uh, he loves the feel of their hair so much that he just keeps petting it and petting it. And then the next day he wakes up and he's all cursed because he's got human hands. It's so gross. It's so nasty. And I, I loved it so much. So in, in my uh, approach to painting this guy, I wanted to make it look like he used to be this beautiful, regal, royal, uh, wondrous, mythical creature, but in the process of transforming, he's in constant pain, because lions, sh lions shouldn't have human hands, they shouldn't have fingers, so uh, I wanted his expression to be one of constant agony instead of uh, rage. It's also It also helps that his sculpt on his face really, really lends to that. So pink hands I went for because they draw the eye almost away from the rest of the body. You're going to be looking at it and you're going to be thinking like, what the heck, why does he have like pink flesh colored hands? And it adds to the uh, mystique of the model. It's a huge model uh, in comparison to the starting survivors. So I'm going to line up one of them right here. You can see he's, he's much bigger. He's on a bigger base. And uh, just for scale purposes, let me see if I've got something to compare them to. All right, here's a Space Marine model. It's the Librarian Ezekiel I'm going to line up right next to him. So you can see the uh, Space Marine models are a little bit shorter and uh, much bulkier than the Kingdom Death starting survivors. They're almost on par with, I'd say, maybe like a Malifaux-sized model. But um, compared to the monster, they're still... This, even the Space Marine models are not as big. They're kind of... Like the size, or uh, maybe a little bit smaller than, than a uh, Dreadnought size. It's between like a Terminator and a Dreadnought if you're uh, familiar with 40k. But in terms of this game, the monsters, the way the monsters scale up is really fantastic. And you're going to see that the, the larger and the bigger we get with the monsters. But talking about the white line again, the color scheme for him was very, very simple. It just requires a lot of patience and uh, a lot of layers and applications. So you're going to be priming in white, obviously, because he's a white lion. You could also go with a cream colored if you prime him in a bone, skeleton, maybe rack art flesh kind of color, and then uh, highlight him up in cream, like a cream colored lion. <laughs> like a cream colored lion would look. But I decided to go with white because uh, it's, it's in the name, the lady boss said white looked much better, and I agree. So once you're completely primed with him, you're going to paint the mane in a darker gray color because we're going to build up the colors and the textures of the mane with white tones. So I use Mechanica Standard Gray, it's a nice uh, thick stone gray, and when you're working with white for the rest of the model, it really helps. I blocked out the hands or the paws with Bugman's Glow, which is a good reddish pink base to build your flesh up with. And then I uh, painted the inside of the mouth completely black. We'll get back to that later. His nose, I also paint, painted Bugman's Glow, so it's uh, nice and uh, pink right on the tip of his nose there. It looks really cute. And then his eyes I blocked out first with Abaddon Black, and then I painted the little uh, eyeballs itself with... <laughs> Uh, my white lion. And then I blacked out the eyes with a Sotek green, which is a nice turquoisey color, and then I highlighted it with Temple Guard blue. So you're going to see these nice, uh, like really beautiful baby blue eyeballs. And uh, when you highlight the center of that with some spots of off white, it really brings out that pained, uh, kind of angry, scared just not happy expression of that white line. Like, look at that, look at how awesome that is. Uh, before getting into how I did the mouth, let me talk about the rest of the shades. So, and the highlights, what you're gonna do after the model is painted is you're gonna glaze it with, remember that mix for the uh, starting survivors? I used Nuln Oil and Drakenhof Nightshade. Basically what I did was I watered it down even further and then I kind of stuck to the muscles and the definition of the muscles so you can really see where the shades 
went into that. I tried not to hit too much of the wider areas like the back or the, uh, the rear leg, the tail, because you don't want uh, too many shadows on those wider areas. Just really stick to the muscles and then uh, highlight back up with mostly off-white and add in a little bit of, of white colors. So uh, your white scars, your, uh, your white from Vallejo, anything that's a white color paint, you don't want it to be over the entire model. You need to see those shadows and that definition of the musculature, but you want uh, some of it near the top. The same thing with the mane. Once I uh, had that Mechanica Standard Gray, I did a couple of layers of highlights by adding some off-white to the uh, Mechanica Standard Gray, and then after I did two layers of highlights, I shaded the entire thing with a watered-down known oil, so you can really see where the shades are, uh, where the shadows are, where the, the individual strands of hair would be. And then you take your highlight color and you build it up a little bit more with some white tones and basically paint individual strands of the hair. Some of these are not even sculpted onto the model, but they create the optical illusion of individual hairs coming out of the mane. And uh, if you do it in, only in the center or where it flows and curves, then it creates the illusion of the mane flowing in uh, motion. And uh, that's what you want. You want to create a sense of motion. So I love doing that. If, if it ever looks like the, the highlights are becoming too thick and uh, too bright, just go back over with that watered down known oil and you will create those, recreate those natural shadows. The paws, the hands, were uh, highlighted with a variety of skin tones from, I think I used the scale color range, uh, their fairy, fairy flesh set. Comparable colors would be Acadian uh, Flesh Tone or Kislev Flesh, Elf Fle the old Elf Flesh, and um, basically you're just trying to build on the red, uh, the reddish Bugman's Glow with some more uh, yellow, pale, pallid looking skin colors. The uh, trick here is you want to stick to highlighting the top of like the knuckles and leave that more reddish, unhealthy skin tone underneath. For the shades, I used Raglan Flesh Shade. I also added in just a tiny bit of Drakenhof Nightshade to create that kind of sickly blue blue look. But you're not going to see too much of that. It's, it's more mostly the pink colors. The blue is for the uh, shading. And then I highlighted back up with those skin tones. The paws, or the claws on his paws, <laughs> the clawsies on his pawsies, were black, Abaddon Black, and then highlighted up with Stegadon Scale Green. Or uh, you could go with Incubi by Darkness. You want to... Uh, a shade that's not gray. You want a highlight that's more bluish than gray to, to kind of show how uh, solid and thick and deadly those claws are. Going on to my favorite part of this model, the face. I uh, painted the tongue in Bugman's Glow and then I painted the teeth first in Steel Legion Drab and then I think it was Talarn Sand. I wanted a very brownish bone color if I painted his teeth my standard like ivory Rackarth flesh and highlighted that up, then I think it would look too, uh, too clean, too nice, too healthy. I wanted the white lion to look like he was in pain, like his teeth are rotting, and uh, even the sculpt of the model. When you look at the teeth, they're not, they're not even. The uh, teeth are kind of set at weird angles. And uh, that's what I love about this model. Like you can see the, the top one, he's got a little snaggle tooth right there. His bottom row is just all messed up. And uh, I think that adds to his, his pain and the tragedy of this model. And that uh, he's, he should be this beautiful royal creature. And uh, instead of looking like uh, Aslan from Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, he, he's just like just in pain and racked with agony and misery all the time and that's why that's one of the reasons why he goes around killing and murdering and and eating because he that's that's all he knows how to do he's got no relief if uh, you want to really bring out the definition of his face you take your shade that Drakenhof nightshade known oil and you work it into the eyes and uh, really pop out the the shadow and the the hollow look of his sunken in eyes and then um, do a little bit right atop the cro uh, right across the top of his forehead where his brow is going into his nose and um, you don't want to do too much but you do want to create that kind of furrowed pain look on his face 
All right, I love this model. It's great. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Forgot to mention that in my other videos. And subscribe if you're not already. If you love Kingdom Death Miniatures as much as I do, then uh, hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next video, the final model in our prologue frame, which is the Butcher. Latest players.